Hey everyone, Heather here with Time Clock Hub. In this video, I'll be showing you an overview of the Timesheet tab, where you can add a new time record, edit a time record, and add time off. On the left menu of your dashboard, click on Timesheet to open the Timesheet page. On the top right, you'll see the Add Time Off button and the Add Time Record button. Adding time off allows you to add any absences or request time off, such as vacation time, sick time, etc. You can remove it from your employee's time bank, or you can simply request those days off for you to approve. Additionally, if someone calls out and you'd like to record this in their account without paying the employee, you can also do that with the Add Time Off button. You can manually clock in and out an employee using the Add Time Record button. We'll start with the Add Time Record button. For example, let's say that Melissa forgot to clock in on June 3rd. I'll select her name, enter her start and end time, add a note if needed, and then click Add Time Record. When I scroll down to the timesheet list, I'll now see the new record I just entered. To get more details, I'll check the plus sign to expand. Here I can see that this record was a clock in and out record. I can also see that the record was manually entered by Melissa. Lastly, I can see any notes associated with the record. I can also edit the record by clicking on this green icon. For example, if Melissa actually ended her shift at 6 p.m., I'll click this icon, change the time, and then click Edit Time Record. Going back down to the timesheet list, I'll see that the record now says 9 hours, and that it was edited by Melissa. Your employees can also manually enter their own clock-ins from their dashboard. However, any time record submitted by an employee must be approved by a manager before it is applied to their account. In the timesheet list, you'll see a few totals to note. Total regular clocked in hours will display here, total break time will display here, and total absences will display here. Now, let's go over how to add an absence. First, I'll click on the Add Absence button. For this example, I want to enter that Melissa took a personal day last Monday. I'll select her name, select the type, and select the day. Since Melissa usually works an eight hour shift and I'd like to add eight hours to her absence time, I'll put in 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. here. Also, I'm going to select add paid time off hours. That way, these eight hours will be removed from Melissa's time bank and she'll be paid for this time off. You can also designate this time to be unpaid by checking do not apply PTO. Add a note if needed, and then click on add absence. Scrolling down to the timesheet list, I'll now see the new absence listed. You'll see that the shift now has zero time for clocked in hours, but eight hours for absence time. Again, you can expand to see more details by clicking on the red plus sign. Under type, I'll see that the record is designated as personal. Also, if you have the photo capture feature set up, clock in images will display in this column. However, the option to add a clock in image will not be available if you are manually entering time. It will also let you know whether this absence was payable or not. It is important to note that absence records cannot be edited. However, if something is incorrect, you can delete the record and re-enter the absence. You can use these options at the top of the screen to filter which time records are displayed in the timesheet list. Timesheets can be filtered by date, employee, primary location, clock-in job, clock-in location, and absence type. You can also choose to display payroll dates if needed. So even though an employee has already been paid for either their time worked or their time off, you can choose to display that time anyway. However, if you don't want to see past payroll, make sure to select no. So that's it for the timesheet tab. We hope you're enjoying your new time clock. If you have any questions, you can click the question mark at the top of your dashboard for a tutorial. You can also contact us directly through the chat box on the bottom right, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.